what are you telling me people spiritual is coming back in and i can't lie bro i swear i hate working these jobs well you know what i mean my feet be hurting and shit fucking the days just drag out i just feel like i'm wasting time here you know what i mean why the fuck am i here for that's how i feel like when i go to these places this is like why am i here i tell you i don't feel like i belong in these places this is why i say fuck a job bro you know what i mean man who wants to be wasting the rest of their life spending eight ten hours twelve hours a day in the shitty job when we only got one life to live bro this is why i say to any any of my guys out there or anyone that's taking their life serious bro start to think of bigger things that you want to do out in life bro and start to think of that life you want to be living bro because this is not the life to be living i'm telling you working these shitty jobs and shit and just getting by the day yeah you know i mean struggling out here not focusing on yourself, just getting in even more hassle. I'm telling you, bro, I probably would have went through even more hassle if I didn't focus on myself. My life ain't that too bad now because of how much focus I put on myself, but man, imagine if I weren't putting the focus on myself and how bad my life would be right now. I'm telling you, my life would be in a whole completely different situation than it is right now. And I'll, literally, I'll just been down and out, but I'm telling you, man, Literally, because who are we? Who are we as specially selected people, people on a high vibration? We're like extraterrestrial to a lot of these people out here, you know what I mean? So it's like, we don't even belong with these, with these people, you know what I mean? These people that are just programmed into a job and wages and stuff like this. Man, we've got a bigger purpose in life and this is why the Lord, this is why the Lord gave me a vision to make a YouTube channel. He gave me a vision to make a YouTube channel because he wants me to do bigger things by what I'm doing right now. And I don't know what kind of vision the Lord gave you, but you need to go through with what he let, what he sent your way to, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, bro, I'm telling you, we gotta be doing everything that we ever wanted to do out here. You know what I mean? I wanna go to this country, we're gonna be going that country. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, I said I wanted to go to Dubai, I wanna still wanna go to Dubai, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you, I just need a couple I just need a little bit of change, bro, literally. Because I know, I'm telling you, bro, I know the little tricks to get on these holidays, man, but I need money to do it, bro, you know what I mean? Can't just do it without no fucking money, man. I'm telling you, when I have this, some little bit of money coming in, you watch me, I'm about to be traveling everywhere, doing everything. I'm telling you, it, you just gotta make life enjoyable, bro. And that's the only way you can make it enjoyable is by traveling eating right taking care of yourself working out and just just looking after yourself bro because i'm telling you if you don't look after yourself you're gonna see how miserable life will be for you and you don't want life to be like that you want to look back throughout your life and be like wow i really lived my fucking years up shit like this you don't want to be looking back in the years and be like oh i was depressed back in when i was like 21 oh my my girlfriend left me so i was heartbroken forever when i was in my 20s man fuck a girl bro yeah you know i mean there's a million females out there this is why i don't be caring if no female don't like me or nothing bro because i know i can find another prettier female somewhere else bro you know what i mean man i don't be relying on one female stuff like this I mean, i'm telling you you gotta have an abundant mindset out here with anything anything bro because that's how you just keep keep respect to yourself you know what i mean Literally, you just have to respect it. Even if people don't respect you out here, just respect yourself, bro. But I'm telling you, bro, what I realise at these jobs, bro, it's like... Um, what, what was I going to say? It's like people will treat you differently, like the managers and shit, bro. It's like they'll treat you... Like in a harsher way compared to a lot of other people. That's what I realise, bro. Like they'll talk to you differently. They'll be like, oh, why do you not do this? Why do you not do that, right? I'm like because I was meant to do it like that. But like, like, and then they make up some, some extra excuse. I'm telling you, they always make an extra excuse just to go off at you, bro. I'm telling you. But man, from today on... It's loud, bro. Literally, from today on, no more smoking. Yeah, you know I mean? I'm going to try quit from today. Be strong. Literally, I'm just going to be strong. Drink my water. Yeah, bro. It's crazy, bro, because I can't lie, bro. Like, when I be walking around in these sites and shit, 
it's like I don't know if people know who I am, but I feel like people, like you get a bare attention at these places, but like, you know what I mean? People just like, always give me the nod and like, always just trying to look at me in the eyes. That's why I don't like being at these jobs though, because I feel like I am someone. And when you feel like you are someone, it's, it's like, people just give you this extra attention. Like, I, that's why I don't like looking at people's eyes and that like, too much at this point, but I don't see my attention, because it's like, it's just intense, bro, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, because I feel like I am someone, you know what I mean? So, it's like these people are gonna treat me like I am someone, bro. I don't know, bro, literally, I just wanna do my own thing, bro. I, I, I can't lie, bro, I don't wanna work at all. This is why I just keep pushing forward on my YouTube channel. This is why you have to keep supporting someone like me because I come in every day, at least once, man. And that's what you gotta do, bro, come in. You just gotta be consistent of what you do, and this is what I'm gonna keep doing. Because a job can, what I realise, bro, a job can fire you any day, you know what I mean? Your manager can be like, you know, fuck off, you black prick, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, bro, what I realise, bro, a, a lot of these white guys hate black, black kids, black um, young men. I'm telling you, bro, these older, like, white guys, not all of them, but I'm telling you, some of these guys really do have, like, they hate you, bro. I don't know, a lot of these old white men are racist, bro, I'm telling you, but... That's for another time. We just got to pee. Just keep putting that work on your craft, your YouTube channel, your, your business. I'm telling you, man, it's going to prosper soon. Blessings about to come for everyone that's been putting in that hard work. I'm telling you, bro. You just got to keep staying consistent. And this is why I keep motivating people out there that need to stay in their shit because I'm staying on my fucking shit, bro. You know what I mean? So if I'm staying on my shit, you have to stay on your shit too. But yeah, man. Um, just keep that focus on you, but I'm telling you, this is not the time to just be going out here, especially in this generation. It's not the time to be going out here, um, having a whole heap of friends, just going out, having fun every day, club, bar, you know what I mean? Drinking, smoking all the time. I'm telling you, bro, you've got to take life serious when you get in your 20s, bro. You've got to start to take life serious. That's the time where they say, Oh yeah, go out and go have as much fun as possible. Go make all these friends. I'm telling you, you don't want to do that, bro, because when you do that and you hit your like later years, bro, it's going to be over for you. Stress will life for you. And you don't want to be living a stressful life like a lot of these people out here. Yeah, you know I mean, um, like you know, the stressful life, their teeth are nearly falling out their mouth and shit when they're not like even 30, 40, literally. Um, I'm telling you, you you don't want to look run down when you're in your when you're just coming up in your twenties, bro. Literally, because most twenty year olds just look run down like they're like forty, thirty years old. You know what I mean? Man, take care of yourself, bro, because no one ain't gonna do it for you. Literally, people will rather put you down out here than help you. That's what I realised, bro. But man, I'm telling you, I hate jobs, bro. I hate just sitting around, just fucking working, slaving behind. The boss that ain't gonna pay me to be his neighbour. You know what I mean? I got bigger plans, bro, but I can't make these bigger plans happen without my manifestation of money to come through, bro. See? That's what I need. If if I had this manifest if this manifestation of money came through right now, bro, I would never work. I wouldn't have to work, bro, because I already got all my priorities set, all my mores and everything. I look bro, I already got myself set, bro, you know what I mean? So I don't be. Literally, it ain't too, it ain't too hard, but you know what I mean. But man, you just gotta keep focusing yourself, man. Bigger things for all of us that put in that work, bro. But yeah, man. Literally, make that. This. I don't even know what to say, bro. If you're someone in my situation right now, bro, just make your, make the money that you need to make right now and just stick with it until bigger things start to come your way, bro. You know what I mean? Because right now, this is all I got, bro. Literally. This is why you have to focus on yourself, bro, because who wants to be fucking labouring in their, like, you know what I mean, in their later years in life? I'm telling you, bro, get, your, get yourself together, bro. You know what I mean? Don't be that guy that's just getting your shit together when you're, when you're like 25, fucking 30 and shit, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose out on life, bro. Like a lot of people out here. A lot of people already failed on themselves, lost themselves. 
I'm telling you, you might think life's all fun and games because, um, like, literally, life, that's what I realised, bro, life ain't fun and games, or, like, when you go through, like, serious problems and you come out of them alive, you start to see life differently. See, now, now I, after what I went through, I see life co- completely differently now. I don't see it the same because it's like, this is how life can really be. This is how people can really be. This is how society can be, bro. You know what I mean? Man, you gotta, you gotta be the person that just knows how to handle and overcome these situations because you don't want to be out here just getting dumped on by people, bro, and this situation and shit. Come on, man. We're better than that. We're kings over here, bro. You know what I mean? We gotta be moving like kings if we are king. God damn, man. But yeah, but I'm gonna take a little break from smoking from today. No more smoking. Most time, I'm probably gonna, you know what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna probably be spending more of my money on like going out and stuff, bro. Literally, I'm gonna go out, go drink something, just go drink something nice, go, go out to a nice little restaurant, you know what I mean? Man, take care of your fucking self, bro, because, yeah, you know I mean, oh yeah, man, this shit is long, bro, you know what I mean? Staying here till seven, till five in the fucking afternoon, bro, you know what I mean? Man, this is shit's long, bro, but man, stay tuned because I'm always in the building, but man, I'm signing out. Peace.